My name is Sarah, and you're watching Angle Love English. In today's English lesson, I will be talking about the most common idioms used in English. They're really fun to use, and they help you sound like a native speaker. So let's begin. Number one is draw the line. To draw the line means to stop, to know the point where something goes from okay to not okay. This makes me think of drawing a line on the floor or in the sand to show where someone should stop. I draw the line at speaking in front of 100 people. I will do almost anything for my friends, but I draw the line at lying for someone. We have to draw the line somewhere. Number two is easier said than done. When something is easier said than done, it means it's not as easy as it appears to be. It is easier to say an action than to do it. Waking up at 6 a.m. is easier said than done. Losing 30 pounds is easier said than done. In reality, it's easier said than done. Number three is finding a needle in a haystack. When something is like finding a needle in a haystack, it means that it's almost impossible to find. If you imagine throwing a needle into a stack of hay, it would be pretty impossible to find the needle. Finding the perfect guy at my school is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Searching for this paper in a huge stack of documents is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Number four, go the extra mile. To go the extra mile means to make an extra effort. Someone who is doing more than expected of them. She always goes the extra mile when helping her friends. I will go the extra mile to make sure the job is finished. Going the extra mile is appreciated by many. Number five, hang in there. To hang in there means to be patient or to wait it out. This makes me think of someone hanging off the side of a cliff, waiting for help. They have to hang on and be patient for someone to come and rescue them. I know school is tough right now, but hang in there. It will get easier. Hang in there. You can do it. He just needs to hang in there. The hard part is almost over. Number six, pull yourself together. To pull yourself together means to calm down and behave normally. Usually people who need to pull themselves together are panicking or extremely sad and are acting differently or negatively because of it. This can seem harsh at times, so make sure to use it carefully. For example, when your friend is panicking because there's a test tomorrow and they didn't study, you could say, come on, you can do it, pull yourself together. But if your friend is sad or upset and you tell them, pull yourself together, it can seem aggressive or pushy. This idiom is used a lot in a comical sense when someone is freaking out and their friend has to tell them, pull yourself together, man. Number seven, sick and tired. To be sick and tired of something means you are bothered or annoyed by it. Man, I'm sick and tired of my dog chewing up my shoes. I am sick and tired of this rain. My mom is sick and tired of this cold weather. This idiom is used when you are at the top of being annoyed with something, when it is so annoying that you feel a little angry about it. If it is used every day, it may sound like you complain a lot about everything, so be careful. Number eight, sleep on it. To sleep on it means to think about something for a while before making a decision. Waiting at least until after you have slept once before making the decision. This is a way to say making a quick decision may not be the best option for the situation. Your friend says, Ah, uh, I can't decide if I should quit my job or not. You could say, yeah, I think you should sleep on it. Or maybe they say, hmm, do you think I should buy a new car right now? You could say, maybe you should sleep on it. Number nine, step up your game. To step up your game means to start performing better or doing better. 
I think of stepping up your ability to the next level. You will have to step up your game if you want to pass with an A. This class is hard. We will have to step up our game to beat the other team. I think I have to step up my game at work. Number 10, take it easy. To take it easy means to relax. I know you don't feel good, so try to take it easy today. I plan to take it easy this weekend and watch some movies. Number 11, tip of the iceberg. The tip of the iceberg is the small, easily visible part of a larger problem. So when you look at an iceberg, you can only see the small top part above the water. But in reality, there is a huge piece of ice hiding underneath the water. What we see on the internet is just the tip of the iceberg. There is so much information online. What you know about my backstory with him is just the tip of the iceberg. Number 12, plain as day. Plain as day means obvious or clear. When something is plain as day, it means it's apparent and visible to everyone. It is plain as day that you're in love with her. It should be plain as day that the picnic is canceled. It's pouring rain. Your emotions are as plain as day. Number 13, cat got your tongue. When someone asks, cat got your tongue? It means, can't you speak? It's usually said to embarrass the other person. It's like asking, why are you so quiet? Hmm, I wonder. Imagine someone takes something from you without your permission. You catch them and say, hey, why did you take my snack? If they sit there and don't respond, you can say, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue? This idiom is a little rude and I would never use it in real life unless it was in a joking matter with my friends, but it is used by many people. Number 14, a taste of your own medicine. A taste of your own medicine is kind of like karma. It is when something bad happens to someone in a deserving way because they treated other people badly. So say someone like to make fun of or bully people. If one day someone else bullies him, he would be getting a taste of his own medicine. I think this idiom came about because liquid medicine doesn't taste very good and it leaves a bad flavor in your mouth. Just like how being bullied when you've been a bully to someone else makes you feel bad about what you did. He needs a taste of his own medicine is a really popular saying. After constantly being prank called, John decided to give Darius a taste of his own medicine by ordering 27 pizzas to his house. Number 15, 24-7. 24-7 means 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All the time, constantly. This is used in an exaggerated way almost all of the time. My brother annoys me 24-7. This is exaggerated because they can't be annoyed literally all the time. If you need me, you can call me 24-7. And those are the most popular English idioms. Try to memorize them and use them in conversations with your friends. Thank you for watching this English lesson. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more English learning content. Hope to see you next time on Ego Love English. Bye-bye.